Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Blog Center, the home of Nigerian African Boxing. Please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe button right now and also go to the notification bell icon, click it. And so oh, also end up dropping you banger and you exclusively will definitely be notified. Dillian the body snatcher white has gone in hard on the unified way king of the universe and then Joshua saying that Joshua needs to rematch him. That Joshua knows that rematch would carry greater risk than a fight against Alexander Usyk. Um White on Joshua versus uh, Usyk. So I quote, "Is a dead fight. Usyk hasn't looked good. Who has he fought at heavyweight? Charles Witherspoon, Derek Chisora. He looked terrible in the fight. He has no punch power. Okay, he's good. He's got good movement, but it's not nice movement. At cruiserweight, his movement was nice, but at heavyweight, his movement is not nice." Is just so negative. The Derek Chisora fight, I watched the first six rounds, and when Derek tired, I was like, this is rubbish. Derek was out on his feet, and he couldn't even stop him. He was punching him clean, and Derek was walking through. There are only few fighters special enough to replicate what they did at Cruiserweight. David Hay is a good fighter. He didn't replicate what he did at Cruiserweight, at Everweight. Enzo Macarelli was the same. Even the Olifi stands out. Even the Olifi did it. Dwight Mohamed, Kwawi, and those guys moved up and did well at Everweight. But Usyk hasn't got a star. Now he's under 5 kilos. He's going to struggle to carry that weight around the ring. And he isn't one ounce stronger. Uh, White continue. Those guys know. You can say what you want about me, but there are two things that I cannot deny. I always come to fight, and anyone that fights me, you will know that. You've been in a fight, regardless win, lose, or draw. The two fights I lost, the guys took major damage. I think Joshua almost got knocked out when I fought him. If you watch the clips back, you hear him saying, if I took one more body shot from him, I would have fought it in half. This guy knows, this guy's no regardless, win, lose, or draw, I come to work. Those are the words of Dillian, the body is not sure white, aka the calm man. Very interesting take. But I still think that Usyk is a, is a threat to anyone, including Dillian White. Of course, Dillian White can say, oh, I must know Joshua out. Joshua got wobbled. Joshua was wobbled. That happens a lot. But Joshua recovered, you know, and knocked you out in the seventh round. You, you did, you, you, what you did, you did it in a, in the second round. You know, remember, Joshua is a guy that that's always been very dedicated, motivated in what he does. Why did beat Joshua in the amateurs? He knocked him down. He, uh, you know, got uh, won on points. Joshua took that to the heart. And rebuild himself. He rebuilt himself. And when they meet in the pro game back in 2015, December, Joshua showed White why he is miles ahead of him. I don't know it listen. If Joshua and White were to fight right now, I think Joshua knocked him out quicker. White has a very good jab. He's developed his, his jab very well. But he doesn't have the tools that Joshua has now. You saw what Joshua doing, did in his last fight. The puller counter. Never seen White do something like that. I don't know when he can do something like that. White doesn't have the cardio, the gas tank. If he goes past... If White fights Anthony Joshua next, for example. Hypothetically, that happens. 
and it go if it goes past the fifth, seventh, sixth round, White is getting stopped brutally by Joshua because White cannot keep up with the pace of Joshua. White gas tank is not good enough. He needs to work on his gas tank. Cardio needs to be very tightened up. But you know, some people say you cannot really work on your cardio. I don't know how Joshua did it, but Joshua is, Joshua is the only father I know that I've worked on his cardio. Joshua had early, uh, cardio problems early in his career. You can you can actually you know see it. You know, in a Klitschko fight you saw it. But as of recent, he's been definitely like getting better. Remember his last fight, the whole Joshua will like after hurting uh, Kurapulev in the third round will go all in and try to knock you out. But it took his time. And he now know how to conserve his energy. And that's something most fighters don't learn. Why is yet to, to learn to learn that? So him calling Joshua Hart saying that Usyk is not good and all that. This is a form of distraction. Usyk is a better boxer than Alexander Perechkin. That's a fact. He's a better boxer overall. But it's not. It might not be the bigger puncher, but it's a better boxer. And let's not forget that Joshua did knock out working cold, cold. Why did it in the rematch? But the first fight, Usyk sent um, Perkins sent White to the afterlife. It has what happened. I like White as a fighter, but comparing himself, saying that oh, uh, he would have knocked Joshua out. You know, he was about no, 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 no. Skill, skills, and skill wise, not even close. But I do think I do think the white is the third dangerous man after Joshua and Fury. And of course, let's say the fourth dangerous man. But I don't think Andrew beats White. You know, Andrew Zinio might have the gas tank on there, but the skill set is not there. The guy has a lot of disadvantage. He has very poor jab. Okay, I think White should actually try to pursue that fight instead of gunning for the Joshua Rima because that's not happening anytime soon. Joshua's uh, aim and goal is to become undisputed. And this is this is the thing he's worked on all his life. As a father, now you are at the pin pinnacle of your career, the pinnacle of your career. You've got all this fame, you've got all this money, you've got all the accolades, you've got your commercially endowed and everything. Was left for you, undisputed, and that's something that's not been done for a very long time. The last man to do it was Leon Suarez. That was about twenty years ago, or fifteen years plus ago. George was aiming to become the new undisputed heavyweight king of the universe. Listen, being undisputed in an heavyweight division is different from being undisputed in a lowerweight division. The heavyweights are the kings of boxing. You can't be as good as Canelo, you can't be as good as Josh Chilo, you can't be as good as Terence Crawford, you can't be as good as uh, uh, Dimitrios Andre, the Shallows of the world and all that. But being the heavyweight king, the undisputed heavyweight champion of the whole universe is different and feels different. It has something Joshua wants to become. And then maybe hang off the globes and let the youths take over. God, there's so many talents coming out right now. You got the likes of Efia Jagba. Even people who are still yet to make their pro debut. The likes of Emmanuel Odiase. The likes of Osamedo Murigi. Those are coming up. And people who are already in the game right now who are coming up. The likes of Rafael Akbajari, the 6 9 Everwood Nigerian monster. Was going to shake up the Edward division very soon. Steve very raw, learning his job. You ever got in America, Mike Coffee? I don't know how good he is, but according to what I've seen so far, the guy is solid. You got Jamin Franklin. You got Gerald Anderson. You even got guys that are close to being on the top right now, like Tony Yoko, Elgovich. You got guys that you might call a bridge weight, you know, like Alan Babich. So many people coming up. I think why should focus on fighting a guy like Andrews Jr. to boost 
is profile. White is well known in the UK, but it's a little bit sad to see that Andrews Jr. has more, you know, more following, you know, and more known in America than Dylan White. So White should now start seeking for guys like that to make his name because White is the can man, according to what, what they always say. So the can men always want to fight. At the same time, White should start making some strategic move, and that is to go for the money. But I know White would like to fight Andrew Regino for sure. But Regino is a diva, a guy that only wants to fight Joshua because he knows what Joshua brings to the table. Joshua is his landlord. So why saying that this fight now nah, is rubbish, he's a dead fight, all this kind of stuff? I don't, I don't really co-sign that, and that is not the fact. Joshua knows how dangerous Andrew Jr. is. Even if, if they were to fight again, Joshua knows how dangerous Olesen Usyk is. And they are fighting next. Usyk is a better boxer than Dylan White himself. That's a fact. But is it a, better, is it a bigger puncher? No. But boxing wise, skill set wise, Usyk has got more tools in his arsenal than Dylan White. But the the Joshua White rematch will be more intriguing because White still got a punching power, he still got a very good jab. But at the same time, and also him talking about the Shizura, White struggled in the Shizura first fight, even in the second fight. In fact, it like we can all argue here that Shizura, in my opinion, won that first then White fight. You know. This is what I think. Or maybe a draw. The second fight, he got knocked out. And Chisora was winning on the scorecard. Before that happened. So he shouldn't be, he's not in the position to say, oh, he struggled with Teresh Chisora and all those stuff. Chisora is, 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 uh, 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 is, is the guy, he's hell for anybody. And David Hay did do well in the, in the, in the, in the uh, division. But the injury was kind of, is his downfall. You know, injury keyed David Hayes, you know, potential to excel in the heavyweight division. If not for the injury, the guy would have done a lot of stuff, actually lost stuff. Maybe become a undisputed, you never know. Of course, we know he fought uh, Albert Klitschko, he got beat by Albert Klitschko. But maybe he might have, like, if not for the injury. Maybe. So David Hayes tried his best. David Hayes, the young David Hayes was explosive in the cruiserweight division. Yeah, moving up to the heavyweight division. You know, having to gain weight and all that. So, and now one thing is that, of course, um, Usyk might not carry the power of DVH because DVH has got power. Remember, he knocked out Shizura in the fifth round when they fought. So, still got power, but Usyk doesn't have the power of DVH, and that is understandable. But one thing you can ever take away from Usyk is that his boxing skills is A class. And that's something that can upset any heavyweight if he fights the right fight. Against Joshua, it's going to be hard. Of course, I'm backing Joshua to beat Usyk. Joshua is probably going to box before he sends Usyk to the La La Land. Or maybe he just box his head off and move to the next fight. Or maybe Joshua might just hide something. Because Joshua is a very smart guy now. He knows that he doesn't have to showcase everything he has now. Fury is going to be watching. Fury wants to see what Joshua can do. That's why Fury was very skeptical and was very afraid of, you know, making Joshua happen now. Because he doesn't know what Joshua will be, be getting in the ring with. And this is what is best for Joshua. Stay blessed, guys. Stay tuned. Stay hungry. Stay on board. And give a thoughts below. What do you make of the Lenoir statement? Do you agree or you disagree? That's it from you guys. Cheers.